score the lining of the back you are going to position your remaining lining like this that's all you need You carry the sleeve or you carry the back pattern. Remember this is how this is how it is. So Perfect. So I'm yeah, going to cut out this part. Remember, while I was cutting, I didn't cut, I didn't cut it to align with this. I cut it to align with this. The excess here, I cut it to meet up this place, and then it came straight instead of meeting with this part. But this part, I'm going to cut it exactly like this. Just exactly follow it. Just exactly, just trace it, basically. So when you get to the top, when you get to the top, you leave about 0.4 inches above. Also here, 0.4 inches above. Then when you get here, pay close attention here. You can use something else just make sure here is pressed so you fold here exactly where this exactly where this stops you fold it from there like this in such a way that here make sure that here is still aligned so you make sure here and here are like this something like this you can see Then you keep it like this and you trace half inch away from there half inch away when you get here you stop at exactly where you stop exactly where this stops here you stop there and you just go out from there and then you close it back arrange it Make sure everywhere is arranged. Then you can come back here and just continue straight. So as you can see, this is the way it is. So when you open it now, you see something like this here. You don't want this. So what you do is you just blend it from here. You just blend it to meet up like this you just blend it so this is how it is so this is how to cut the lining for the back this is it so to sew the back you are going to sew well put them together like this you can see this is our back and this is our neck part and this is our armhole part so you are going to sew exactly on this line just on the line so just watch as i do it you put it like this. So 
So this is our back lining. So the same way, even though the back you are going to sew just point four inches, not as big as the back. So that's it. So we we'll go to the table now. And we can press here. We we'll go to the table and we can press it. And we we'll continue from there. So we are on the table. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to first of all before you open press it, we are going to first of all iron it out. Then you notch this coffee part. Then you can now open press it. You turn it this way and you measure two inches. You measure two inches here. You fold it by two inches. See it folded by two inches. And you press, press it. Two inches. You also come to this part. Make sure it's two inches. And you press it. So since here is 2 inches, here is 2 inches, you just straighten it. So this is what you will do. So it doesn't matter if the middle is, the middle might, might be bigger than 2 inches, right? The uh, middle, most times, they, are, they will be longer than 2 inches. But this here and here should be 2 inches, shouldn't exceed 2 inches. So two inches, then you can turn it and just iron it properly from outside. So this is all about this. So you carry the lining. So this is our bag that we've ironed and this is our landing. Alright. So what you are going to do now is We are going to open it like this. I will put our line to be facing upwards. So we'll join here to here like this. I'm going to join here to here. 
su sugie an grohi radis anusu su isai osu the radis and so it also from here downwards to this place so let me just go ahead and do it so you can see and your stitch should be 0.2 inches you shouldn't exceed 0.2 inches your stitch here should be 0.2 inches as you can see it's 0.2 inches so you turn the other side also Turn the other side and you do the same thing. So you can just turn it inside up to see the outcome. So this is the outcome of what we've shown. So what we are going to do is we are going to turn it back. You can see it's always good that the lining should be more. You understand? The lining should be free, should slack somehow on the inside. So this is it. As you can see, the lining is more than the main material. So you can turn it back inside out. So you turn it out inside out like this, so you can see there's a line here and also there's a line here. So you fold the line from the line, you fold it like this, fold the line like this and you sew from here, like few inches, say 0.3 inches from the top. So 0.3 inches from the top, like this. Remember this line, as you are sewing it, you drag your line in outside, you can see, instead of putting it to be equal like this, you drag it out like this, a little bit like this, from here it should be around half inch, and as you are sewing it, here should be around one and a half inch, then you sew it here, you sew it slanted like this to this place, slanted like this. So here, you stop and you also set this other place also like this and you pull here too. Out. So the same way here, you pull it out. And remember, from this line, you stop around 0.4 inches above. Then, you can trim off the excess. Trim off the excess. And when you trim off the excess, you can see here, there's a line here. You can just fold it like this. Fold it like this. Make sure here is flat. Like this. Then you fold this line. Like this. Make sure it's flat. 
Then you carry the seaming allowance together with this top and sew them together. So you sew them together. So you can see. So we'll go to the table and turn it inside out. Okay. So remember, this is how we did it. Remember? Then we'll turn it inside out. So we'll turn it inside out. So we use we use a needle to just bring out this edge. So make sure the edge is well brought out. You can see it. Make sure it's sharp enough. So we'll use so we we'll lay it down like this. And we'll iron this part. Iron it. So as you can see, the lining is, is more, you can see the lining is more than the main fabric, which is fine. So you can just fold it like this and iron it. Okay, I almost want this part, so you should be careful. So you can see it.
So this is the back pattern. And we are done with the back. This is how the back is done. It's too easy, right? So that is all. So you can just fold it and keep it till you need it again. That is how to make the back pattern of a suit.